Hi, this is Dr. Randy Nordale, and this is a brief tutorial on using the SimNet Gradebook. You could log into your SimNet account directly through the SimNet URL, or you can go through your LMS. Either way, um, after you completed a few assignments, your grades are automatically uh, posted in the LMS, transferred from SimNet to your LMS. But the SimNet area has a gradebook also where you can view your grades and view details about your grades. So if I click on grades, it's going to take me to the SimNet gradebook. And I could see my grades over here and see due dates, all, all of that information. We're going to look at a few different assignments today. We're going to look at the SimBook. Um, we're going to look at a guided project and a SimNet exam. So let's start with the SimBook. If I click the uh, arrow here, it's going to open up and it's going to give me, it's going to say I have the current grade here at 21 out of 23. I can go view this assignment. Here it shows me how much I've completed. So I'm 91%. I've completed 21 of 23 of the interactive activities. So if I scroll down, I can see which ones I've completed and which ones I still have to complete. Those with check marks are complete. I've completed one of one here, five of five here. As I go down, this is the one I haven't completed. I've completed two of four of the how to's here. So I still need to complete the other two. In a sim book, you should be able to get 100% on every single one of these. So I can click here and it'll take me right to this section, this SLO in the sim book, or I can go back up and open the sim book and go to that particular SLO to complete that assignment. So that's the sim book. Let's go back to grades. Second one is a project. So if I expand this out, I can see that I've had multiple attempts on this project. I got 100%, which if your instructor give you multiple attempts, take advantage of that and try to earn as high a grade as you can. But I can view any of these three attempts. I'll go ahead and just view the middle one here. And this is what you see when you submit an assignment. You've already seen this before, but I can go in and this one here, I got 91%. I had a couple things wrong, tells me which attempt it is. Um, I can open this up and I get detailed information about what's incorrect. So this, uh, this feedback, sometimes it'll just tell you what's wrong. Sometimes it'll have really detailed incorrect feedback, uh, depending on the type of project it is and, and the settings on the project that your, that your instructor has set for you. Um, so that's a project. If I wanted to go see more details about the project, I could click the project here. And I can see I've used up all my attempts on this one, but here's all three of those attempts. I can see my grade on each one that I corrected a little more each time and finally got to 100%. So that is a SimNet project. And then finally, let's go to a SimNet exam. I can expand this out here and just like the other ones, I can see my grade over here, but I can view the results and see why I got 18 out of 20. So if I click view results, it's going to take me, it's going to show me on each one of these, which ones I got correct and which ones I got incorrect. So it gives me some detail here on the ones that I got incorrect, tells me what I did wrong. Okay. So a couple things here with the exams, if you click on, especially on the ones that you got incorrect, if you click learn, it's going to take you to a lesson in SimNet that's going to remediate on that particular skill. So you can go through and do the show me, guide me, let me try if you want on that particular skill. I'm going to go back. Also, you could look at history. There's some of them, some you may have had multiple attempts. If I click history, it's going to tell me, oh, on this one, I had a couple different attempts. I got it correct both times, but sometimes you may have it incorrect the first time and get it correct the second. But you can find out history on each one of your questions. And that's the assignment. If I click back, if I click on this assignment here, it's going to take me back to that exam. That's going to tell me I have three attempts uh, allowed. I've only taken one attempt so far here of, of the three. So I could take this exam a couple more times. Uh, the number of attempts on projects and exams is all dependent upon your instructor and how your instructor sets up um, those assignments. So I'm going to go back to the gradebook. And again, 
that's it. Gradebook is is easy to use. It allows you to go in and look at assignments and see details on that assignment to see how you did, to see if you have more attempts remaining, to try to get the best grade you can possible. So I hope this tutorial helps. Have a great day.